Today on Tiki Fire Toy Reviews, Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch Luke Skywalker in Bespin Fatigues. Yeah, baby, 6 inches of Skywalker goodness. Hello, Tiki Fire here with another Tiki Fire Toy Review. And I'm reviewing today a figure I got for Christmas. This is an awesome figure. And I knew once I saw him that I had to get him. This is Luke Skywalker in his Bespin Fatigues from Empire Strikes Back. What many consider to be the best Star Wars movie ever made. I'm not going to argue that. It is awesome. And this is an iconic look for Luke Skywalker from the movie. Here's the box. This is from one of the earlier series, so it's got the orange line. It's got Luke on the front and the top. On the back, it's got a picture of him in the catwalks of Bespin. It says, Luke battles Darth Vader on a narrow platform in Cloud City. Rejects Vader's urging to turn to the dark side and rule the galaxy with him. You'll find I'm full of surprises, is the quote there. Pretty cool. This is an awesome, awesome action figure in the six-inch line. So much goodness in this action figure. First off, let me start by taking a look. Let's zoom in on him a little. And let's start off by taking a look at his expression on his face. I don't know if you remember in the movie, there is the one scene where he's looking around trying to find Darth Vader. Because he knows he's hiding somewhere, which is odd because if you really think about it, could Darth Vader hide with that breathing box and all that? be kind of tough for him to do. Some people say he was suppressing the breathing box with the force. I don't really buy into that. I don't know. Maybe. I think it was just movie lights, you know, artistic license, and they didn't really think about it. It does work. Darth Vader jumps out at him, kind of scares him, starts fighting him again, then throwing stuff at him. So it works in the movie. Look at that look on his face. That's amazing. And the hair, the sculpt on his head, it really looks a lot like Mark Hamill did in the movie. It's not a perfect likeness, of course. I mean, how are you going to do that in this size figure? But it is pretty darn cool, I have to say. Let's take a look at him. Here's how he looks with 6 inch R2-D2, which I haven't reviewed yet. But Let's take a look at him anyways together so you can kind of get an idea. They do look good together. Pretty cool. He does show up with R2, of course. So R2 is in his X-Wing when they land at Bespin. And something most people don't think about, his X-Wing gets left at Bespin at the end of the movie. Spoilers, when he gets in the Millennium Falcon and takes off with Leah. So that X-Wing that he presumably was the one that he flew and fought and blew up the first Death Star in, that thing probably got confiscated by the Empire. <laughs> Just say it. All right, so let's take a look at him again. Great, great facial facial expression. He looks good. He does, you are able to tilt his head a little bit down and slightly back, but his hair in the back kind of takes care of that. And they sculpted in some nice hair. It really, really gives you the impression that this is a real hairdo. Really cool. Although it does make me think of that video that was flying around the internet like eight nine years ago dun 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 you know that one yeah it makes me kind of think of that his expression kind of weird but hey cool so he comes with his lightsaber his hands are posed where he can hold the lightsaber and he does have articulation at the wrists it does go up and down slightly He does have the super articulation. I would call him super articulation because he's got articulation at the elbow. Kind of a ball joint thing there. He does have another ball joint at the shoulder. Does swivel all the way around. And it will bend about... What is that? 45 degrees? No, that's 90 degrees, isn't it? Yeah, it's 90. There was good at geometry. Probably I'm not a good pool player. I don't know. He does come with his pistol, which does come out of this pouch. Well, it's his holster. It does fit in the holster. It is rubbery. It does have some nice paint apps on it. It's got a brown 
pistol grip and silver tip on it. It's a really nice looking gun and he can hold that gun as well. Let's see. And you can even put his put his trigger finger in there. That's pretty nice. So he can be pointing that at you, which he does use it when he first arrives at Bespin and the stormtroopers are hauling Leo away. So, and Chewbacca and all them. And she's like, it's a trap, it's a trap, Luke, it's a trap. Yeah. Okay. I always liked how she yelled his name. Luke, Luke, it's a trap. I can't even do it. Anyways, she really sounded, you know, Carrie Fisher, pretty good actress. She really sounded worried for him there. And his lightsaber is, of course, the one he loses at Bespin. Mine's starting to get a little bent from holding it. I guess I don't need to put him double-handed holding it and leave it that way. Now this does twist, but it does not come off as far as I've found. I'm kind of scared to pull it too much. I don't want to break it and have to glue it. The weird part is it does hook onto his belt. It's got a hook here. But as you can see, that doesn't really work too well because... It's hitting the ground. It kind of reminds me of the old 12-inch vintage Luke Skywalker figure. And his lightsaber then didn't have a removable thing. And if you put it on his belt, which it had a big hook for it, but if you put it on his belt, it was dragging the ground, basically. Just like this. Kind of odd decision, but hey. And the belt does look like it would come off. Though I haven't really messed with it. And I don't want to take it off because it just looks too cool. Whoops. It just looks too cool. I'm going to set that down. I do love the holster and the way these fit on their legs. They've got the strap. And he does have articulation here. He's got the double jointed knee. Which you can bend back like that. He does have swivels on his ankle. Where he can, or on his foot there. On his ankle. Yeah. You can do that which is weird but you can do it. It does tip back slightly and forward slightly. And he does have the swivel on his leg, upper leg, his thigh there. So you can put him in different poses, although it does look a little weird. All in all, I really like this figure. If you can't tell, I think it's a really great figure. Only thing I would have liked them to have included that's not included, and especially at the price point these are at, 20 bucks. Why didn't they include just a hilt that you can hang off of here for display purposes because most people aren't going to play with this most people are going to display it come on Hasbro most people are giving you 20 bucks a pop for these things give me a friggin hilt you include them in your smaller black series a lot of times and you include them in the the vintage line had them I think some of the saga line figures had that extra hilt with no blade on it why couldn't you give me a hilt with no blade for this hook here you give me the hook, you don't give me the hilt. <laughs> I don't get it. So, anyhow, other than that, great figure. I really like him, and I really recommend picking him up, especially if you like Luke Skywalker and you like these six-inch figures. I mean, I would have gotten him just for that expression on his face alone. He does turn at the hip, too. I forgot about that. There you go. So that's Luke Skywalker's six-inch Black Series Investment Fatigues. Hope you enjoyed this review. Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please check out my other videos. Thanks a lot.